Hi, I'm Steve Roth. I'm really excited to introduce to you a new diagnostic tool called the Marksman. Before I get into some of the uses of the Marksman and show you just how much time this tool can save, let me briefly explain to you how this works. The Marksman operates on a principle of physics that says pressurized leaks and moving parts will always emit sound because of the friction they generate. Unfortunately, when these leaks are very small or the wear on parts is in its beginning stages, this sound is in the high frequency ultrasonic range, making it inaudible to the human ear. The Marksman eliminates this diagnostic limitation using a two-tiered approach. First, it converts inaudible ultrasonic sound into an audible range that the ear can pick up. Then, it fine-tunes this audible sound into natural sound you're familiar with. In other words, a compressed air leak sounds like a compressed air leak. A worn bearing sounds like, you guessed it, a worn bearing. Applications for the Marksman are almost limitless. It's ideal for detecting compressed air, vacuum, natural gas, propane, and other pressurized leaks. It's also great for pinpointing worn bearings or gears in things like pumps, electric motors, and differentials. It can also let you detect abnormal electrical discharge or arcing in fuse panels and wiring. Best of all, the Marksman alerts you to these problems early on, way before they become major headaches or breakdowns. Let's open the Marksman carrying case and take a look at some of the key components that make up the Marksman kit. This is the ultrasonic receiver, the heart of the Marksman. On the right side is the thumb wheel which allows you to adjust the volume you hear from the headphones. Always turn the thumb wheel to the on position before putting on the headphones. Once the headphones are in place, simply adjust the volume to your own comfort level. At the top of the receiver is a nose piece. This is where the marksman gathers ultrasonic sound. The nose piece also serves as a holding fixture for the air and contact probes. This is the air probe. It's hollow and nothing more than an extension of the nose piece. It's used when you're looking to isolate a problem among several suspect areas. Here's the contact probe. Notice that unlike the air probe, it's solid. This is used to check parts like gears and bearings that are enclosed in some type of metal case or housing. Sound waves travel great through materials like metal. So just touch the tip of the contact probe to any part of a case or housing and listen for signs of wear or damage. By the way, when using the contact probe, be careful around rotating parts. The Marksman kit also comes with these high quality headphones. The headphones do double duty. First, they enhance the ultrasonic sound gathered by the receiver. Second, they help muffle the noise in the plant. You won't believe how sensitive the marksman is. Watch this. It can actually pick up the sound of a blinking eye. Earlier I mentioned to you that the marksman is great for diagnosing pressurized leaks. But what about those pesky air and water leaks in non-pressurized enclosures like holding tanks and ductwork? That's where the ultrasonic emitter comes in. In a nutshell, the emitter simulates a pressurized leak by generating a beeping sound optimized to the frequency range of the receiver. Just turn on this little switch, place the emitter in the enclosure, and walk around the exterior by sweeping the suspect areas with the receiver. The exact location of the leak will be immediately revealed by an increase in the intensity of the beeping sound from the headphones. Now, let's get to the real fun and put the marksman through its paces. Well today, nearly every plant utilizes compressed air. And believe it or not, compressed air is the most expensive utility. We're at our holding tank in our plant, and we're going to test for air leaks right here. Ah, here we go. We've already found one in our pop-off valve. Now we're going to test for propane gas leaks. Every facility uses one of these, a forklift. Propane gas is not only expensive, but it can also be very dangerous to the work environment if it's leaking. Here we're going to test for leaks on the propane gas tank. And once again, we found the leak right at the fitting. As I mentioned earlier, the Marksman is a great tool for diagnosing worn gears or bearings. On this drill press, we're going to use the contact probe to check for bad bearings. In this situation, it's running fairly smoothly. 
if we had a bad bearing, you would hear an irregular clicking noise. Earlier we explained to you how the emitter can work for non-pressurized enclosures. Here in our facility we're going to insert this into our AC ductwork to check for cracks in the line or leaks at the joints. Uh, here we have a leak in our joint. What we've just shown you is just a small sampling of the many uses of the marksman. Remember, leaks and wear always create friction in their surroundings. And picking up that friction in the earliest stages is what the marksman does best. I'm Steve Roth, and thanks for watching.